this tool shows a parts list manager. The client who uses this tool is building modular buildings which are mainly used for hospitals and laboratories and that consist of units that are prefabricated and fully equipped in the factory and then shipped and set up on site. The client's projects are quite big. Sometimes they consist of 300 units. The production of these projects are split in phases and the client is ordering material for each phase. He has his unique way of ordering. He's always adding material to the parts that are the phase in the model and he is partly ordering material as fixed length, partly as bundle, partly with mark numbers, partly without and the addition can also vary. After discussions with the client, we proposed and now finally built a modular structure. The tool consists of two parts, the core, which is driven by a database that gets created after the user selects the parts and that shows the parts and their properties in a list. There are templates for a list, so different kinds of lists can get shown. The core also has a function to filter the parts, to filter the database using the properties of the parts. Filters can get stored, reloaded. Filters also can get added. There's also a function to that lists the production phases that, that are already allocated and a function to allocate new phases. The parts list module has two parts, one for the order list, the other one for the production parts list. And both finally allow to export the created list to Excel. I'll show the core functionality. I'll start with the filters. Um, for instance, we hear that will be unit number 14 on level two, we say create look at the model, it's there. We could, for instance, add another filter, look for IPEs, create, it's here. We can mark parts in the list. These parts will get marked white in the, in the model. And we can use a combined and added filter. For instance, this one says unit 9 on level 0 and unit 15 on level 1. Say create. And we have these parts. I will um, assign phase number 6 now. So first we'll filter for the parts that don't have a phase allocated yet. They are here and I will allocate phase number six. And take some time and we see that the phases are allocated, the phase and the list is updated. For the order properties, we decided in after discussions with a client to use the model roles of parts. So we added five additional columns to the model role MDB that we use for the properties. Um, column one is the order type. Second one defines what should happen with the mark number. The third one is the order length. The fourth is the addition and the fifth is a comment column. We also defined a, a small syntax, how parts can get ordered. For instance, F, order type F is fixed, B is bundle, that's a mixed type that says between length of 5950 and 6000, it's fixed, otherwise it's bundled. This one also, it says 
below 4000 length order as 4000 and beyond 4000 order as 4000 plus the necessary multitude of 500. Here addition usually it's just one value but here we say um, below less than 20 pieces 15% less than 50 pieces 10% 5%. So that's uh, the, the tool is reading this MDB and is allocating the order properties to all parts. I'll show the creation of an order part list now. We have to filter again and we have to allocate an order date that's missing here. So we'll allocate today's order Filter again for phase 6. And we see that's our parts. And we'll look at the types of lists that we can have. For instance, name it ASID, create. We see that for each ASID, we have a dummy ASID added. That's the addition. The reason for splitting um, or adding a dummy ID to the part is that the order properties of the addition can be totally different from the part. So we'll go back to the bomb, say create, and then <clears throat> we'll create the X list. It's done. We'll see the parts get listed. There are parts with position numbers and fixed length. There are parts without position number and random length. Here again, here. And at the end of all parts, we have the total weight. The user can edit this list. So for instance, if he thinks the additions are too big, he can change the, the quantity of parts and the weight gets adjusted. So that's a uh, uh, order parts list. I'll show the production parts list now and I'll show a list that has the, the deepest structure that is sorting to phase, level, unit number and element type. I have to create the list and I can export the list to Excel. We see the list gets structured. Each element has a small list of the parts that are needed to make it and at the end there's the total weight of the unit and then there's the total weight of the level. Again elements of a unit, total weight of the unit and at the end we have the weight of the face and the overall weight. So that's a production parts list and that was the parts list manager. Thank you for your attention.